guys um so today i have a load of like a little bit of scrap i'm gonna bring to the scrap yard just some old push mowers and some old metal bars and just old and this push mower i'm just gonna bring to the scrap yard um so yeah let's start doing that So, I have, um, this little, uh, cedar, but I don't really think they'll take it because it's mostly plastic. So, I'll just have to bring this to the dump. Um, but I got all this other metals right here. Um, yeah, it's quite a bit of weight. I don't know. should get a little bit of money for it. Probably not too much. Um... Yeah, I think that's about it. I don't see anything else. I don't know. Is there anything underneath here? Nope. Okay. I think we're good. So, yeah. I'll see you guys when, uh... I don't know if I'll film at the scrapyard or not, but I might. Um, we'll see. Hey guys, we got it all loaded up. I had that red push bar right in there. That one right there. That was in my tent. It, I mean, it kind of ran, but it wasn't running the greatest, so... And it's kind of a piece of junk, and it's really old, so... I just decided to bring that, too. Um, got that bucket of stuff. She's got some old metal bars and crap. So, yeah, let's see what we get for money. So, um... If you guys can see right there... Um, 300 pounds of crap. I got 15 bucks for it. Um, pretty good. Um, it's kind of funny because my brother went to the scrapyard with an old truck bed. Um, I think he went there a little while.
while ago to the same exact scrap yard and he got he only had like a hundred pounds of scrap metal it's kind of funny how I have so much more with a little some I had four push mowers because I did take the one that was in here out because that red one I just decided to junk that one too um From the wrong side. There we go. So I brought my screwdriver out. So yeah, I'm just gonna put these back in really quick. So um, I just got those back in. I have like a little bit of two-stroke gas left in here. Um. And I got some mixing oil that I'm going to um, do with that. I do have to actually, I have to empty the rest of this out, but this is for two and a half gallons, and I've never actually found one for two and a half gallons, so we all got two and a half gallons. It's two and a half gallons, so pretty good. Um, this is basically empty, too. I gotta fill that back up now. I always put stable on my gas, just in case. Um, so yeah, I will throw the rest of this gas in my lawnmower, the rest of this gas in my weed whacker, um, so yeah. Okay, so I had to go eat lunch, um, but now I'm back, uh, now I gotta put my, um, yeah, bugs and crap in here, um, but now I gotta put my, uh, two short gas in here. I still got a little bit in the bottom, but I couldn't, I didn't have anywhere to put it. Um, I also put some in this water bottle because I didn't have anywhere to put it. Um, besides, because my weed whacker and my leaf borer were both full. So, um, yeah, but it'll be fine. Come on. Come on. Hold on a second. I got both of my gas, gas cans ready to go. Um, put stabilizer in my big one and put the two cycle oil in the little one. Um, I did put a gallon, I think. Yeah, a gallon. I put a gallon into this last time. And it, um,. You know, that, that got drained, as you can see, it's already gone. Um, but, um, I don't want my seat on, buddy. Probably from the bottom of my gas can. Um, but, I mean, I still had a little bit left, but I figured since I need to fill up my big one, I'd fill up my little one. Um, I out this little bit. Too short. Um, yep. So, and I got those back in, too. Mmm, I'm nice coffee. Pretty good. On a hot day. I do want to mess around with this today. Because I might take the throttle out of this leaf blower. Put it in there. Um, yeah. I don't know. I have to see what the inside looks like. I'm going to open this thing up. I'm going to air out here. Oh, crap. There's a big spider right there. See, I'm up here. Okay, he's not very big, but he kind of freaked me out a little bit. Because <laughs> I didn't see him. And he just popped out of nowhere. I thought that was another spider right there. I was going to say, another spider. Where'd he go? There he is. There we go, he's gone. That, was a, that spider was on the outside the other day. Then I flipped him on the ground. But I guess he got back in. Um, yeah, I just gotta roll this up. There's a spider web on me. So I felt weird. Weird to look back here and there's nothing. Nothing at all. Hmm. Um... Yeah. 
I do want to, I don't know, I kind of want to get like an old tractor, not an old tractor, but like an, another lawnmower that's like the next step up from this one, which is like the biggest one you can get, I'm pretty sure. Um, cause, uh, I want to like turn it into almost a mini tractor, like find another set of rims maybe for it. I'm oh, sorry about the shakiness. Um, find another set of rims for it, and, uh, why is that so low? Whatever, I gotta re-roll that. Um, but find another set of rims for it, then keep the t tires that are like this that are probably, that are gonna be on it, then take the other set of rims and put, um, almost four-wheeler tires on it. I think I've told you guys this before. I tried it again, but it really didn't work that well, but I do have to charge my camera sometime soon. Um, but I'll probably go to the gas station and put it on the charger when I'm down there for a little while. Um, but yeah, I want to have that, and then um, I want like a actual like, um, uh, like a old tractor, like an old style tractor, like the old John Deere 112. Well, I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's pretty old. Um, I think it's like a uh, 69 or something. But I actually want the 318 John Deere, uh, John Deere 318. Um, that one's really old too. Um, I did it again. Okay. Um, but yeah, I want one of those. I was actually looking at an old one, uh, 112, and I don't know. I just I didn't get it. It had like a rototiller and a cab though. I was gonna buy. It. I was so close to buying it, but then I'm like, nah. Oh my God, why is my battery going down so fast? Um, have to charge it. Um. But then I found this other one, it was a John Deere 318, and it had a nice cab on it, a snowblower and a mower deck. I wanted that so bad, but I wasn't going to get it because it either needed an engine rebuild or a new engine, which I wasn't, just didn't seem good enough for me. And then the other ones that are actually running are like, that I found are like 2000, uh, like, yeah, 2000, in the 2000s, high 2000s. I can't afford that. Um, I wish I could. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, but I was thinking about like getting. If I got, if I was thinking actually, if what I would have done, if I would have got that one John Deere 112, um, 112, uh, I would have, I would have had that for a couple years, or I would have had that for like a year or so, fixed it up like fix the f like fix everything up on it and like maybe did the, like the, some of the stuff on it like the rust and stuff on it then if i would have got that thing nicely running and i knew it wasn't gonna like blow or anything i would probably sell this because i i just i really want like a little tractor like something bigger than this but i mean this is pretty big it's pretty it's good not that like it doesn't mow or fat good or anything, because this thing really mows really good. I just I want something a little bigger, um, like a little tractor kind of thing. But yeah, um, I do like this thing though. It's done me good. But I I want like like something like like with a. Like, easy to take off deck. So then if I want to do a project, I can just take deck off. I, I, I'm I like, I wonder if I can get a drive over deck. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, if I, probably if I could weld, which I want to be able to weld in the future, I could probably make this deck into a drive over deck. Um, and then, like, yeah, yeah but. I don't know. 
I'm just dreaming. <laughs> There's, uh, I forgot what they actually are, but they're like a lawn tractor, bigger, a little bit bigger than this. But it's four wheel drive and it's got like a drive over deck and everything. It's like a mini tractor. And when they're brand new, they cost like, uh, it's like 22,000 or something. Which is, and you, like, you can get a front end loader and all the same stuff you can get for a regular tractor. Like a one family little John Deere, com compact John Deere, four wheel drive. Which you can get it for like the same price, but it's bigger too. But, you know. Um, yeah, I just like to have a little tractor kind of thing. But that'd be kind of nice. So, um... I just took my four wheel out for a ride, and while I was riding, I was having some fun. Then I came back here, I put it back, and I looked back here, and there's a frog sitting right there, so I, or a toad, I mean. So I took him and let him go. Um, and if you're wondering why that oil pan's under there, and my seat's like that, it's because I was just messing around with my leaf blower. Trying to see if the uh, throttle would work for this, which it doesn't. Um, but I was messing around with it. And I was sitting on my seat and I was op trying to get the throttle thing out and I opened it. And I looked down on my seat and there was a big old puddle of two-stroke gas. And I was like, ah, oh, crap. So I had to do that. And I, I think it's basically dry. And gone. Ah, oh, crap. Did you just see that, guys? Oh, my God, I'm dumb. Hopefully I'll be able to find that. I actually might give my four-wheeler a bath. It's pretty bad and it's been like that for a while, so... Yeah, why don't I? I might as well. I'm not doing anything. I can't believe I just dropped my key in there. I'll just leave my key in it when I wash it then. So I can give this key a wash to him. I do have to uh, get a bucket and a brush. Okay, I'm gonna go get that stuff. Hey guys, um, so it's later in the afternoon. It's like probably four, maybe five. I don't know. Um, but I didn't that when I filmed that last clip it was probably around two twelve thirty or something. I never actually did fill up my gas cans. Um, but I was making a video or kind of making a video involving this so I did I washed this I think I told you that in the last clip maybe but I was going to wash this and um I washed it and I did something you can't actually see it's on the other side right now I'm not going to show you guys you're gonna have to watch the video when I post it which it will not be for probably at least four or five days because I ordered a part for this and I stripped it, I was stripping it down today, and I realized I need to order parts, so I'm ordering that part tonight. So, you guys will see that video. I'm not going to show you what I was doing. Um, so yeah, you guys will see that video. It probably looks normal from this side, but the other side looks kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just found the screwdriver, it was under my seat. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my channel, uh, make sure you subscribe and po turn on post notifications. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy this video.